Because a chief prosecutor of the International Criminal Court on Tuesday disclosed ongoing works for her office to issue new arrest warrants in Libya over civilian casualties from airstrikes and gunfires. The move is intended to hold military commanders responsible for crimes committed by their forces. Libya has been in turmoil since 2011 when a civil war toppled longtime dictator Muammar Gaddafi. Details of that in this report. The chief prosecutor at the International Criminal Court, ICC, announced plans for new arrest plans over intentional attacks against the civilian population in Libya, which is considered a crime under the Rome Statute. Addressing a virtual meeting on the Security Council on Tuesday, Fatou Bensouda said violence in Libya, particularly in and around the capital Tripoli, has not abated. A year after the offensive by the Libyan National Army, LNA, Headed by General Khalifa Haftar, the prosecutor was particularly concerned over the high number of civilian casualties largely reported to be resulting from airstrikes and sailing operations. Of particular concern to my office are the high numbers of civilian casualties largely reported to be resulting from airstrikes and shelling operations. My team continues to gather and analyze information about incidents that have occurred during the recent period of armed conflict that may constitute crimes under the Rome Statute. I reiterate that intentionally directing attacks against the civilian population or against individual civilians not taking direct part in hostilities is a war crime under the Rome Statute. The Gambian ICC chief prosecutor said her office had found traces of increasing number of enforced disappearances committed with the close total impunity and cited the case of parliamentarian Siham Sajiwa. Information obtained by my office indicates that such crimes are all too common. Former detainees report brutal methods of torture. Detention-related victims of rape and other forms of sexual violence include men, women and children. Detainees have died from injuries sustained through torture and from the failure to provide proper and timely medical care. My office is aware of allegations of serious violations in many prisons and detention facilities throughout Libya. Of particular note are al Kuwaifia and Gernada prisons located in eastern Libya. These allegations also extend to Mitiga prisons in Tripoli, which is controlled by an armed group known as the Special Deterrence Force. Ben Suda observed that Libya continues to be under obligation to arrest and surrender Saif al-Islam Gaddafi to the court. Mr. Gaddafi is a willful fugitive, actively evading justice both in Libya and before the International Criminal Court. And neither case can progress, nor can the victims of Mr. Gaddafi's alleged crimes receive justice whilst he remains at large. Ben Suda recalled that the arrest warrant of Al-Tuhami Khalid and Mahmoud Al-Wafali have not been executed, adding that Egypt had not arrested and surrendered Al-Tuhami, who is believed to be residing in the country. She said the LNA also did not facilitate the arrest and surrender of Al-Wafali to the ICC, noting that Al-Wafali is reported to be under the command of General Haftar. Reporting for Africa News, I am Amadou Kante.